Hi everyone, I'm Dina with Mills Family Gardening. Composting can be a complicated thing, but there is a very simple way to compost right in your backyard. And that will be composting straight in the flower pot. Right here we have our homemade compost that we started making about five or six weeks ago. I'm going to dump it in this box and we'll see what it looks like. So this is the compost that's been sitting here for about five or six weeks. And you can see a lot of earthworms that got attracted to it. Now, the month of March here in North Texas zone 8A has been pretty warm so I'm sure that helped decompose our kitchen scraps faster. Even though composting in a flower pot is a very simple way of composting, there are still four very important tips that are helpful in breaking down the kitchen scraps much faster. The first tip is to keep all your ingredients much smaller than they were. For example, if you use broccoli or cabbage for, to make your compost, then chop them up in smaller pieces and use like that. The same thing applies to dry leaves and eggshells. If you use dry leaves then crumble them up with your hands as fine as you can and use them like that. And for the eggshells I use our coffee grinder to grind the eggshells and turn them into powder. The second tip is to leave out all the ingredients that take much longer to decompose. For example things like peach pits, avocado pits or avocado peel or grape stems. They take a much longer time to break down and Lately, I have been simply throwing them away. The other way to use them and help them break down faster would be to collect them in the box and then simply put them in the blender, blend them, and then pour all that into your compost. The third tip is to keep your kitchen scraps in the freezer. You can keep them in the freezer overnight or for several hours, and once they thaw, they become much softer and that way faster to break down. And the fourth tip is to alternate layers and keep your layers thin. I always start the first layer with some dry leaves and I'm going to try to crumble them up simply with my hands just to make them smaller so they would break down much faster. Right now we have some older compost in the very bottom of the pot but it doesn't have to be it's just we used that pot in the past for composting that's why we have some leftovers. For the next layer I'm going to use some llama manure and you can see that it's not composted it's still pellets so I'm going to put a thin layer of those there and all that extra moisture is going to help them soften and break down faster and then I'm going to put a thin layer of our kitchen scraps and you can see there are paper towels and some tea bags which is perfectly fine for composting they will break down pretty fast then the next layer I can do some coffee grounds with coffee grounds they also eliminate some odor so if you have something very stinky in your compost they will help with that now I'm going to sprinkle a thin layer of ground eggshells they're very dusty so be mindful of that when you use them. On top of those five layers, I'm going to put some of the older compost and all the earthworms and microorganisms from the old compost are going to help break down the new kitchen scraps. So now I'm going to repeat my layers and do the same thing all over again. I'm going to use some shredded leaves, some llama manure, kitchen scraps, and I'm going to spread them evenly in a thin layer, then some coffee grounds, some eggshells, and all compost. I'll finish the final layer and we'll come back when the compost is ready. And while it's getting ready, I usually like to put my composting pots under the trees and whenever I water them, all the compost tea and juices that are full of nutrients and good bacteria flow down to the roots of the tree and feed the tree. Today is April 16th, it's been 15 days since we started our compost and we're going to see what it looks like now. But before we do that, I would like to mention a few tips that would be helpful for composting in a flower pot. First of all, we're using this size container because it fits the amount of kitchen scraps that we produce on a daily basis. You can use any size container you have, but I found this is the best size, that way I can stir it without much effort. The next step is the flower pot you use needs to have large holes that way whenever it rains or you water the compost all the water will be running down and won't be building up in the container and when the water builds up then the kitchen scraps don't really break down that well the ingredients you will use for your compost in a flower pot will vary depending on what you have sometimes I don't have any manure or I don't have coffee grounds so I just use whatever we have on hand and also I normally don't put such ingredients as 
dairy, meat, bones, very salty or extremely greasy foods. I noticed that putting too much salt in the compost and then using that as potting soil kills plants and also really greasy and oily foods that don't break down that well. To protect the composting flower pot from critters like raccoons or other animals like that, you can put a large brick or a saucer and then a heavy rock on top and that usually keeps the flower pot with the compost in it pretty safe. It's also important to keep your compost moist but not soggy but even if it's soggy it will be breaking down just not as fast. You don't have to store your compost but if you do it will speed up the decomposition process and that's what I've done with this one. I stored it a couple of times. So let's see what our compost looks like. We can see that a lot of the leaves have not broken down and usually it takes a long time for the leaves to break down. For them to break down much faster they need to be shredded but it's okay. Even with the leaves unbroken like this I can still use this whole compost as a potting soil or at least I can use it at the bottom of a large container and it will save me on the potting soil. I can also see that some larger pieces like llama manure of course have not broken down and that is completely fine. Overall our compost looks really good. Let me just dump the whole thing in the box to speed up the process. I also noticed that some ants like making their nests in the compost and that's okay. I ignore the fire ants. I just try to be very careful. So the leaves on the very bottom have not broken down. We can simply put them in the next batch of compost. So I simply put them on the bottom of this flower pot and I just make a new batch. I use the old compost to make a new batch. I can see that this paper towel have not broken down and some other pieces are still pretty big but it's still good progress considering it's been only 15 days since we started our compost and also it has not been that hot here. In the middle of the summer this pile would have broken down much faster. Well it was fun experimenting with composting in a flower pot. We hope we encouraged you to compost more in, right in your backyard in a flower pot. I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Bye bye!